Nikki, thanks. The Bay City community is remembering one of their own tonight. Sergeant First Class Mike Cathcart was killed in the line of duty while serving on a mission in Afghanistan. NBC 25's Walter Smith Randolph spoke with two of those who knew the soldier. And Walter, how are they remembering him? Sadie, courageous and kind are just some of the words people are using to describe Sergeant First Class Mike Cathcart. I spoke with the Bay City Central High School teacher who remembers his former student as a kind man with a love for hockey. Outgoing, kind-hearted, friendly. That's how English teacher Mike Vincent will always remember Sergeant First Class Mike Cathcart. He was always had a cheerful word to say about how things were going. Vincent taught Sergeant Cathcart when he was a junior at Bay City Central. I'm proud of having known him is definitely one thing I felt this weekend. Sergeant Cathcart died of injuries he received during combat operations in Afghanistan. It was his fifth tour of duty. To mesh the, the kind-hearted, easygoing Mike with the intense struggles that he saw was just kind of amazing to me. Sergeant Cathcart also had a love for hockey. This is a video of him practicing with the National Hockey League's Carolina Hurricanes earlier this year after recovering from injuries he suffered during a previous tour in Afghanistan. The Canes' former head coach remembers the day he skated with the pros. An opportunity to hear that he loved hockey so much and grew up in Michigan. We just said it's perfect time to get him out there and, you know, practice. Whether on the ice or back home in Bay City, those who crossed his path, proud to know Sergeant First Class Mike Cathcart. Cathcart graduated from Bay City Central in 2001. His military honors include three bronze stars and the Purple Heart. The Cathcart family is in Dover, Delaware, meeting Sergeant Cathcart's body as it travels from Germany. Funeral arrangements have not been made just yet. In the newsroom tonight, Walter Smith Randolph, NBC 25 News. Sadie.